When I was growing up in the 1970s and 1980s, my father's truck radio only got two stations, country and talk. Country was radio keen on 1370 AM in San Jose that shut down after 40 years in 1993. The land underneath the transmission tower became more valuable than the station itself. Radio King folded its cards and walked away with the money. Talk with KGO Radio on 810 AM in San Francisco was shut down after 80 years last week. The station owner, Cumulus Media, shut down Talk without warning and hinted that a new format was coming. The station reopened at the spread, the Bay's best bet on sports gambling. I find the timing for the switch to sports gambling somewhat curious. The November ballot has two propositions, 26 and 27, to expand gambling in California. The Cumulus Media Gamble Away, KGO Radio, on a sports gambling bet. If you want to support my channel, check out the new merch store on cdrimer.myspread.com. The San Francisco Bay Area radio station, 810 AM, began as an NBC affiliate in 1924. KGL Radio came into existence as an ABC affiliate in 1942. The talk radio era to become the liberal bastion of the West Coast began in the 1970s. As a child growing up in the 1970s, my father's alarm clock radio went off at 5 a.m. every morning. My father worked in construction and was on the road to San Francisco at 5.30 a.m. As a teenager growing up in the 1980s, I became a political news junkie and listened to the Big Three. Ron Owens in the mornings, Jim Easton in the afternoons, Ray Tyler Ferrio after midnight. I later listened to KGO Radio while in college and during commutes to work. Cumulus Media bought the station and switched to a news-only format in 2011. All the talk personalities, except for Ron Owens, got laid off that year. Ron Owens had such an ironclad contract that he didn't leave the station until last year. Cumulus Media discovered that they couldn't run a news desk on the cheap and switched back to talk in 2016. The spread's new lineup had syndicated sports programs and eight hours of sports betting tips per day. The format change came after Cumulus Media lost $20 million since acquiring KGO Radio in 2011. Sports gambling is the new moneymaker on radio for three reasons. The Supreme Court overturned a federal ban in 2018. 36 states and the District of Columbia legalized gambling in various forms. The pro sports leagues back gambling as a way to grow their audience with young men. The format switch came less than a month before California voters vote on Proposition 26 and 27 to expand gambling. Prop 26 will allow roulette, dice games, and sports betting on tribal lands. Prop 27 will allow mobile and online gambling outside of tribal lands. Current polling indicates that both propositions will fail with 33% voter approval. If Cumulus Media made a bet on expanded gambling in California, they lost again. Will sports gambling succeed as a replacement for talk on 8:10 a.m.? Probably not. The Bay Area has two dedicated sports stations, KMBR on 6:80 a.m. and a game on 95.7 FM. Neither station focuses on sports gambling. I don't see the San Francisco Bay Area as being an underserved market for sports gamblers. 
outside of the state lottery and some local card clubs, the Bay Area doesn't have a gambling culture. Casinos on tribal lands exist because they're far away from the major metropolitan areas. Voters are against any proposition that would expand gambling to casual players. A serious gambler will cross the Nevada state line to gamble in Reno or Las Vegas. Humorous media might succeed at killing off the station before its 100th anniversary in 2024. That's it for today's show. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.